Hello and welcome to the Let's Talk Sport YouTube and Facebook channel. Uh, today I'm joined by Joe Stanley, um, Mr. Five Times himself. And we're here to preview the Champions League, Man City specifically, versus Leon on Wednesday, the 19th of September. Uh, Man City looking to get their, their campaign off to a, a flyer. How are you thinking the City will approach this? Is it just gung-ho go at Leon? Are Leon there for the taking? Or with players like Memphis Depay, are they, uh, should, should City be worried a little bit? You look on. Yeah, yeah, and, and Fakir. <laughs> yeah, and obviously Fakir, who so nearly went to Liverpool before. He, he filmed a, a video signing for Liverpool, discussing how much he loved Liverpool, and Liverpool just went, nah, mate, we think your knee's a bit dodgy. So is he going to come back to haunt you? Thanks for that one, Connor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Colin Porter, camera. ladies and gentlemen, off camera. Hello. Now on camera. <laughs> now on right. camera. Yeah, what I was going to say is, on paper, it looks all like Manchester City victory. Mm -hmm. uh, but since you've asked me the questions about Depay and Fekir, uh, we'll have a look at them. I think both quality players. You saw Fekir's free kick at the weekend. Mm. Uh, I can't remember who they were playing. Oh, I can't. It's Cayenne, is it, or something? Can. 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 Is that can. how you yeah. I did not do French at school, just to clarify. I did, I did German at GCSE, so not that oh. I can remember it. All right, OK. But, so I'm not going to throw loads of Bundesliga teams no. at you now. No, uh, right. But yeah, I think the quality players obviously they can they can do it on the day. Depay didn't really get a look in at Manchester United. I don't mm -hmm. think it really worked with the system under Van Hal. I think you looked at him now at United, he might be a completely different beast, but we never know. Uh, obviously, it's, you look at City's quality in there, the strength and depth. You've got Silva, David Silva, Bernardo Silva, you've got Hazus who was on the bench, you've got Sterling, need Sane, I say, Sane Aguero, Aguero, need I say more? Mares. Yeah. yeah, exactly. They've got a, an abundance of riches at the club, mm -hmm. and obviously, you look at their quality of their squad compared to Leon's, and you think, really, this is complete and utter mismatch. No disrespect to Leon, but come on, you're expecting the victory for City. Yeah, but then I suppose you look at when Man City played Wolves earlier in the season. You look, if you look at that, that's a mismatch, and, and Wolves took it to City, ended up getting a draw out of that. Um, I suppose there's an argument for that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think I, I, I'm a big, big Memphis Depay fan. Uh, like you said, though, it didn't quite like work. I, I love Depay. Yeah, yeah, I love Depay. Um, uh, yeah, and he, he seemed like one of those with Memphis. It was, it was that. I mean, Van Hal signed him. He signed Angel Di Maria. Yeah. Uh, talk about how he wanted players who were quick, who could travel with the ball. And then when he signed these two players, he could do that. He instructed them both to not run with the ball and to not really go into the into the attacking half. Are you thinking? But this isn't gonna, yeah, this isn't going to help the lad. Um, but he's he's been brilliant since he's gone to Leon. Obviously, the, the league earn is, uh, you'd say in terms of quality, is not quite where the Premier League is at. Um, but but he's certainly got the ability to buy and Vic here. Um, and, I, yeah, I, I remember Leon of, of, well, over a decade ago just being always one of the, the great teams to watch when they had Janino Penepacal pulling the strings in the middle of the park. It's just a brilliant player. It's free kicks. Mm. Exactly. Uh, and I, I don't know. I think I think Leon will probably set up to try and catch City on the break. Maybe a set play. But again, Memphis is is very good at free kicks. Scored a, a few since he's been over with uh, with Leon. So that might be how they get him. But I, I, I'm, I guess I'm with you a little bit on this, that City... On paper, you think that... I mean, what, what sort of City team do you expect? to? Because for, for Pep Guardiola, because he tends to rotate a lot. And this season, I mean, he's. I'm surprised he's kept Aguero in the team every game, which my fantasy football team is very happy with that. But but that, other than that, there's pretty much the rest of the squad has been rotated. John Stones has been in and out. Laporte has been in and out. Bernard Mendy didn't play at the weekend, even though he's, he's been on fire. What sort of team do you think City uh, or Pep will put together? Well, I think you can afford... You know, Pep can afford to make some changes to this game because obviously there's an argument that Leon aren't as strong as well. Obviously, they're stronger than Fulham at the weekend, but I'm trying to think who City are playing at this weekend in the league. You can say that the league is priority for City in in one aspect, trying to defend the title. I know they he's been put the task of trying to win the Champions League, but obviously he should be allowed more time with that because City have never done it. So obviously there's, there's the argument there. Maybe that some people might say, "Hey, that doesn't make sense." But what I'm saying is. They've had so many managers that have tried and failed since 2008, you know, Sheikh Mansour mm -hmm. takeover. Obviously, they didn't get in the Champions League till late, later on, a couple of years later. But what I'm trying to say is, I think Pep Guardiola needs to be given the time to help continue developing the squad. They got to the quarterfinals last year yeah. of the Champions League and were knocked out by my team, Liverpool, which obviously I, I love. Over two legs, to be fair to Liverpool. Yeah, Liverpool did a job on him over both games. 
So it's, it's going to be interesting. I think this squad he's got now is obviously stronger. Obviously, he didn't make that many changes to the squad and so on, but it's still stronger mm-hmm. than last year because they've got the experience behind them and the experienced heads. So it's going to be interesting. I think City, I think if they just go out with all that attack, and Leon won't be able to handle them. So. Do you think maybe you talk about experienced heads there? Do you think they'll, on the other side of the coin, do you think Phil Folden gets a run out? I think he, I think he should. Because mm-hmm. Pep, Pep talked at the I weekend think... that he was... He, he felt bad for not giving him more game time. Is this is this the perfect chance to to especially if you, you're going to rest maybe I don't know David Silva say and you just say to the young lad here what 18 years old go and have a go see what you can do like he did in the, in the Community Shield and he and he played very well. I think that's a good shout though. I think he's more likely to come off the bench and start. Yeah. Uh, I think I'd like to see Phil Foden. I keep on nearly saying Ben Foden. It's Phil Foden. Different uh, sport. Yeah, completely <laughs> different sport. Um, unless you, you know if it's Ben Foden compared to Phil Foden on the pitch, could be rubber tackling and everyone yeah. gets sent off. But, uh, a little bit different. A little bit different. Back back to Phil Foden. I think it'd be interesting because everyone's saying about him, they're saying what a talent he is and saying, oh, he's one for the future for England. You haven't really seen much of him. Like I said, I watched the Community Shield and he was fantastic in that game. Mm-hmm. I think if we're looking at him being part of the City team of the future and the England teams of the future, Pep Guardiola needs to play him and give him experience in these type of games. He needs to play in the Champions League games against the lesser opposition. Again, no offence to Leon. Against the likes of Fulham at the weekend, maybe he should have started that sort of game. Because mm-hmm. Give him game time and see. let's see how he can develop and let's see how he can play in these games. And I think it'd be fantastic to see him play come Wednesday night yeah yeah. I, I think it's a, it's a perfect game to at least have him involved in some form I, I mean for me I just say throw him in and especially because the, the, the players around him are all going to be experienced heads anyway so he should, he, they should help him along so I, I'd say to give him a start but even if you don't do that at least give him half an hour or, or a half if, if you, you're doing alright at half time but do you think um, before we get, get to predictions do you think that if uh, you kind of touched on it then if Pep doesn't win the Champions League or they don't get to say the semi-finals is that almost failure especially knowing how neurotic Pep is about, about winning which is never a bad habit oh, that's a difficult question to answer third really. season now third season there he's just won the league he's got arguably the, the greatest squad ever assembled in British football he's got arguably the best squad assembled in European football currently is, is it, is it if, if anything less than the semi-finals is that a failure and should he be judged on, on going all the way really make there's, or break time there's an argument for that because as, as I previously just said he was given the task of winning the Champions League. That they've never done it, but it did take Chelsea time. That's a point that mm-hmm. I'm trying to make. What's it? Abramovich took over in 2003, and Chelsea didn't win it until 2012. So that's nine nine years. Yeah, yeah. So, but you're getting towards that mark in well, ten years actually. Shane Mansfield has been in charge. Get me maths right. Um, so yeah, you you're around that time. You're looking at it and you're thinking, yeah, maybe this is the time for Man City if they're looking at the Chelsea model of things for them to win the Champions League. They got, like you said, one of the best squads in Europe. They should be going far in the competition. Whether Pep can get the team to do that is another thing. It remains to be seen. I have doubting Pep I, Guardiola. No, I see. I Bold, believe, you heard I believe it here in first. Pep Guardiola, but it's something. How, how do I put it? The club has not got the history in Europe. And oh. I know. Oh. No, no, look, like here we go. Here's the Liverpool fan coming out. It's all about history. You, you, you look at it. You look at the clubs. You look at Forest have won two European cups. They had a good history in the competition. He's just saying that to get on your good side. <laughs> Conor Porter, Porter off, ca- off camera is, is a Nottingham Forest fan. As- Aston Villa have won it. Yeah. Everton had, had played in the European so, Cup. But by that logic then, does that mean if Aston Villa somehow are in the Champions League in two years, then they should be one of the favourites because no, they've got previous... No, no, I'm just no saying, it doesn't. They've, had, they've, played, they've won the competition. You look at Arsenal, they've played it for years, but they never won it. It's one of those things... You've got you to start expect, somewhere, though. You've you can expect somewhere. clubs to win it, but whether they've got it in them to win it is another thing. Whether it's ingrained in their DNA. I, I think it's hard to talk about ingrained in DNA when it's different sets of players. Just because Liverpool won it in, uh, what, the 80s and 90s, won it the last time in Istanbul, they're not the same players who are here now. They haven't got that mentality. It's not the same manager. So I, I think with the, the, the... You look at the players that Pep Guardiola has got, he's got players that have that winning mentality whether it's international level whether it's club level whether it's it's even in terms of uh, European success there's he's got the right mentality players there. and he himself was he, he talked about pedigree Pep Guardiola himself has won it what three times is it twice yeah. with, with Barcelona so I, I don't know on that one but bottom to line. the crux of it bottom line is we need to score what, what's the predictions going to be first and foremost well, well, the first potentials there bottom yeah. line before I get the score potential, potentials there 
they've got the squad, they've got the manager, it's just whether everything falls into place. But let's leave it at that. Draw a line there. Right, and the score on Wednesday night, Man City versus Leon at the empty hard, as you call it. Oh. I think we'd all agree. I'm going to go 4 0 to Manchester City. Right, okay. Uh, I'm I'm going 2 0 City. 2 0 City. No, no, false that. I'm going to go 3 1 at Manchester City. Memphis Depay is going to score in his return to Manchester. Uh, and that's about it. Let us know what you think, though. Uh, like, subscribe, all of that jazz, comments and, and things. Tell us what you think. If you agree with me, if you agree with Joe, if you think we're both talking a little bit toss. I've wait. We'll, uh, we'll catch you next time on Let's Talk Sport. <laughs>